Hey guys, welcome back to Green Free Homestead. Today is a different day for us. It is our hog pickup day. So we are loading up in the truck, getting our coolers, and we're heading to the local farm. That's where we get our beef and we get our hog every year. So we wanted to bring you guys along to kind of show you the whole process. We ordered it a couple months ago and we just kind of want to show you what that looks like. There is a lot of benefits to ordering your hog. You get the cuts that you want you get to kind of specify it to your needs and what you like. We also know where the pig came from, what it eats, you know, that it's a healthy pig and it's a good quality meat. So that that's our reasons for doing it. And it is also a really good price, especially with all the prices going on lately. So it's a really good deal. We've been doing this for years. So we're going to load up and head out there and we'll kind of show you guys some of the process and what it all looks like. And we'll see you guys in just a few. So when you go to order a whole beef or a whole hog, you want to uh, find a local place that uh, that is near you and uh, find out the details. You want to get in contact with them, find out whether or not there's extra fees involved versus like, do, is, is there a fee for the animal, a fee for the processing and, a, and another fee for just, you know, part of the processing fee. Uh, to get it frozen and get it back to you, shipping, anything like that. You want to try and figure out all that before you ever make a decision on whether you're going to get a beef so you can get an idea of how much it's going to cost. Our hog today, they have a set price on the hogs that they get. Uh, they get them from an Amish farm. The Amish feed them their own feed that they grow. It's really nice for us that uh, we don't have to worry about what, how the animal's been taken care of. We know the... Uh, the Amish take really good care of their animals. Um, so their price is set at a whole hog is at $500 and a half hog is like $275. Our family is, everyone's getting bigger. Everyone, our, our kids are growing and eating more. So we've decided this year that we're gonna go ahead and get the whole hog and uh, hopefully we can we can eat off of this uh, the pork and the, off this hog for a whole year. That's the plan is we get enough beef and enough pork for each year. So another thing to think about uh, on the day you're going to get your hog or your or your beef is uh, if you have to drive any distance you're gonna want some uh, some coolers ready to go. Uh, I usually pick up a cooler or two when I go to if you know if I see one at a yard sale or on the marketplace you don't need a real expensive nice cooler to do that. I even have extra cardboard boxes that I've kept just in case um, just in case I don't have enough room in my coolers. I got them ready to go and we're going to be leaving here shortly to go um, to go pick up the hawk.
Okay guys, so you kind of got to see what we go through on hog day. The picking up to getting the coolers, getting it all laid out. And one thing that we did do is we laid everything out by cut. And then before we put it all away, I wrote down how much of each cut we had. So I wanted to do that to see how much total meat that we got. And then we, we were going to divide it out to see how much we paid per pound. So I can go ahead and list for you guys what we got. Uh, this is the cuts that we chose. Um, you'll see there's not things like ham on there because we don't eat ham. I would rather just have the ground meat or have another cut. So that's what we did. We like the, the ground pork patty burgers. They're our, good. They're real good. Our family really likes that. It's something different than a hamburger and it's just um, another different type of meal for us. So I'm gonna read off the type of cuts that we had and then we'll give you guys a total. We had Boston butts, we had the pork hocks, we had inner tenderloins, the ground patties, uh, sausage rolls, tenderloin chops, pork chops, bacon jowl, and then the pork belly with uh, the regular bacon, spare ribs, and then we did get some of our pork fat. Um, in total, with the pork fat, it was 203.93 pounds. That was total weight of everything that we got. So without the fat, because we got um, we got 10.86 pounds of pork fat. So without the fat, our pig was 193 pounds, 193.07 uh, pounds. When you divide that out by what we paid for the pig, which was $500 total for the pig, it comes to 259 a pound. Yeah, you you can't beat that. I mean, you you look at the grocery store and see what you're paying for a pound of of, of hog or, or pork. I mean, you're it, it's a whole. I mean, right now the you know the prices are, are skyrocketing, and and there's no guarantee that the price at your local farmer will was not. It's probably going to go up too, just because the price of feed has gone up. So this is just giving you an idea of of how much we're saving right now um, and it's probably going to change maybe a little bit in the future it's probably not going to be you know it's going to prices are going up so you can probably expect it maybe to in your area wherever you're at it might be a little bit more it might be a little bit less it really just depends on your on your local farm yep and, and it's not just about price it's about the quality of the meat that we got too yeah. it's, it's such a great quality meat and um, it's 100 percent worth it for us and we just encourage you guys to, to give it a try. Get a hold of a local farmer in your area. Ask around, ask friends, or if you have to, maybe even get on Marketplace or find a Facebook group, like a farming group, you know, in your area. And maybe they can lead you to, to a place if you don't have one that you know of near you. And a lot of people might ask, why, why would you want to buy a whole hog? I mean, you're saving some money. We're saving money on, on doing it. But it's also about the the quality of the meat and the quality of life the animal has. You know, if you get meat from the grocery, it, you know, you, you don't know where it's coming from. You don't know what it's been through and and how you know how many animals are in that one package. Whereas we're dealing with local farmers in our area that grow their own food, that grow use their own feed. They they have a lot of respect for the animal. It's not feed lots. It's not. You know, it's, it's just a whole lot better for us and our community. Because we have, if, you, if you've been following us at all, if you're following us on Facebook or, or on Instagram, you'll, you'll see real quick that, you know, one of the main reasons that we do what we do, we do this homesteading in a neighborhood because of our, our issues with allergies is really what got us into it. You know, Stephanie is celiac. And we, can't, we have to be real careful about what is in our food or else she's gonna get sick. And, and you know, there's other people in our household that have allergies to certain foods. So it's just caused us to be a lot more aware of what is in the food that we're eating. And, and it, it's, it's made a big difference. And we're, you know, we're a lot more picky about what we put into our body because we, we just have to be. We can't just eat, you know, whatever is, is easy. I hope this helped you guys today. Hope you get an idea of what it's like to get a pig, to get a cow, or even a uh, whatever it is that you order. It's, it's all kind of similar, the same similar process. Um, I hope that everything was helpful. In the description, I'll be sure and put the total weight and price per pound to see if that helps you guys. Uh, if you are in the Louisville area, uh, just south of Louisville, is, uh, is, is a place called The Farmer's Wife. You can find them on Facebook. 
and that's how we contacted them on Facebook um, and and they'll get back with you they're really great people we highly recommend you can see a little bit of their their little shop that they have they have you know they have hours where you can go and pick up meat if you only want to try if you want to try their their meat before you you know just to just if you want to buy small amounts of it they have freezers there you can go in and just buy a, a couple pounds of, of sausage or or steaks or whatever you want and try and get a feel for the quality it's going to be more expensive if you buy in small amounts but it give you an idea of of what you're going to get if you buy in bulk or you know maybe that's just the way you want to go they also sell um i think milk and they'll have eggs sometimes and, and chicken they uh, they've contacted with other other growers and other people in the area sometimes they have like homemade soaps so if you're uh, interested and, and you want to get in contact with them it's called the farmer's wife uh, they're great people we've been dealing with them for probably five years now at four or five years we've been buying meat from them so yeah definitely going to put a plug in for them uh, please subscribe and and uh, like our videos we really appreciate it, it really helps us out a lot and and share them and uh, we'll, we'll keep producing these videos as long as y'all keep watching them uh, y'all have a great day and thanks a lot god bless